Hi guys, so we've been on New Dũng Trần channel for a while. Thank you for accepting my voice. Although I know there are still many more improvements to reach your requirements. Today we will talk about a new topic, a weapon that most powerful Western warships own, the Exocet anti-ship missile. This is considered the most experienced anti-ship missile in the world. We have learned a lot about different types of warships and warplanes. Apart from the maneuverability, level of stealth, sensors, etc., the power of these war machines was nothing more than the weapons they carried. Among all anti-ship weapons, Exocet is one of the most talked about anti-ship missiles and one of the most experienced anti-ship missiles in the world. Anti-ship missiles first appeared during World War II. The Germans took the lead with Hansel HS293 and Kramer XL, commonly known as Fritz X. Both of these weapons were used in World War II with relatively small scale. The Soviet Union pioneered anti-ship missiles both from air and ground. The AS-1 Canal is their first missile. A cruise missile powered by a turbojet engine with a range of up to 172 km. Other nations quickly caught up with the Soviet Union. Exocet is one of NATO's most sophisticated weapons. The effectiveness of Exocet in combat during the past few decades has confirmed that no warship can be safe against anti ship missiles. Exocet is an anti-ship weapon developed by North Aviation, a French company. After several mergers, it is currently being developed by MBDA, a European missile company. Exocet's development began in 1967 and entered service in French Navy in 1979. Its name in French means flying fish. Its danger is versatility. By 1979, it could be launched from the ground, surface vessels, or fixed wing aircraft with a range of about 50 km. Subsequent versions could be also launched from submarines and helicopters. Exocet was developed with the purpose of destroying small to medium sized warships such as frigates, corvettes, or destroyers. However, Exocet is also capable of sinking an aircraft carrier if multiple missiles are used at the same time. The basic design of the missile is based on the North AS-30 air to ground tactical missile. Depending on the variance, Exocet weighs from 670 kg, length from 4.7 meters, or has up 160 kg and wingspan of 1.35 meters. MM38 was the first generation of the Exocet series as a ship launch weapon. Its range is only about 42 kilometers. Later, more variants were born with a longer range and more accurate. Like many other modern anti-ship missiles, the Exocet missile approaches its target at sea skimming altitude, which is difficult to detect by enemy radar. It is guided inertially in mid-flight and turns on active radar led in its flight to fire and hit its target. As a counter missile against air defense around the target, it maintains a very low altitude during ingress staying 1 to 2 meters above the sea surface. Due to the effect of the radar horizon, this means that the target may not detect an incoming attack until the missile is only 6 kilometers from impact. This leaves little time for a reaction and stimulated the design of closing weapon systems. Its rocket motor, which is filled by solid propellant, gives the Exocet a maximum range of 70 kilometers. 
it was replaced on the Block 3 MM40 ship launch version of the missile with a solid propellant booster and a turboprocessor sustainer motor, which extends the range of the missile to more than 180 km. The submarine launch version placed the missile inside a large capsule. A 165 kg warhead of high explosive or fragmentation gives it a destructive power. A timer detonator allows the missile to penetrate inside the vessel before detonating. Despite being a Western-made product, it is interesting to note that its first victim was a NATO member. Exocet became famous for sinking some British ships during the Falklands War in 1982. In 1982, when the British deployed a sizable navy force to recapture the Falkland Island, which were occupied by Argentina. On May 4, an Argentinian super attendant aircraft fired an Exocet into the HMS Seafight destroyer. The missile was punctured in the middle of the surface, just above the draft. Although the warhead didn't explode, the collision killed 20 people and set the ship ablaze and sank five days later. Two weeks later, on May 25, two more exocet hit British Atlantic conveyor, which was full of helicopters and logistics for the land campaign. The ship also sank five days later. Subsequently, under pressure from London, France were forced to stop delivering Exocet missile to Argentina. No further British ships were attacked by this deadly weapon. During the 1980s, more than 100 Exocet missiles were fired on battlefields around the world mainly due to the Iraqi side targeted Iranian ships and oil rigs in the war between the two countries. But two exercise missiles damaged the USS stock in 1987. Thereby, exercise has become one of the most successful anti-ship missiles since World War II. It also proved that, with just a few cheap missiles, it is possible to change the outcome of an entire campaign just by engulfing enemy strategic warship. We discussed Exocet anti-ship missiles together. This video is over. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye and see you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to support the channel. I'm very grateful for that.